Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Apple Rush Brands a channel, uh, striving to provide quality consumer packaged goods from manufacturing to distribution. Joining us is Tony, the Chief Executive Officer. Welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. It's good to see you today, Kyle. And always a pleasure to have you back on. So last we spoke, we learned a little bit about the company. We got to learn about yourself, the team kind of captaining the ship with you there. But today I really want to dive down into the business itself. First and foremost, I want to break apart your brands and probably the premier brand that kind of got you guys off the ground was the Apple Rush uh, sparkling uh, drink here. Do you mind breaking this down for us? Talk about the distribution, where you're serving this product to and everything that you think is relevant. Yeah, we uh, launched or relaunched the uh, Apple Rush brand in 2017 with the help of Southern Eagle Distributing and Philip and Peter Bush. Um, we made about 50,000 cases of it since 2017. We went through a brand refresh when we launched these cans that you show here. And we decided that those cans weren't really what we wanted to present to the public. It wasn't 2022. It was too cottage, niche, you know, whatever you want to call it. So we went out, had a designer come up with a new look for us. And the, the look is what you see here in the uh, background right now. Now, the reason that we want to switch to a 2022 look is obviously uh, we want it to appeal to everybody as of today. And we didn't want to have to make 50,000 cases of product and, and take a chance on having it expire or anything else. So we've been looking for a smaller uh production facility so we could run four or five, 600 cases at a time per flavor and not invest $200,000 plus in aluminum cans trying to get them made. So this is going to be our new look. We are going to relaunch it this summer. We have got the facility in place. We are in the middle of, of uh, working on shrink sleeves and things so that we can not have to print the cans, but come to market with a brand new product that is really, really up to date looking. And where are you serving these at? Where if somebody wanted to get these now, where should they go? Okay, currently we don't have Apple Rush in the marketplace. It was on Amazon. It was on our website. Uh, we ran out of inventory on purpose. We sold through what we had, what we could do. Um, it has a two-year shelf life on it, and we don't want to have any anything that's past its shelf life in the in the marketplace. But I don't want to put four hundred thousand dollars into inventory. Yeah. So. We are in the midst of, of launching it under this color scheme, which is more in line with what we do with Element Brands as well. Yeah, and expanding into Element Brands, if you don't mind, um, this is kind of like a, a new facet that's relatively interesting, kind of hitting uh, the cannabis industry with this CBD drink. Do you want to talk first and foremost about this, and then I want to further expand on this brand? Sure. What we did with Element Brands is we took our uh, concepts with Apple Rush and decided to go into a juice-based product with Element Brands. And being juice-based, it separates us from all of the other CBD or Delta 8 or anything beverages that are out there. The advantage to it is, is that it doesn't have any uh, chalkiness, no bad aftertaste or anything like that. If you know what the surfactant that blends it together so you can actually put oil into water or into juice, uh, you may be able to taste that, but it's pretty, pretty clean. It's a, it's one of the most exciting products I've really seen on the marketplace for sure. Now expanding beyond this, what else are you guys doing within the, uh, the canvas space? So we have element C and element D, which are CBD and then Delta A. We are processing right now, looking at launching an HHC product, that HHC product is uh, uh, going to be something that's a little bit unique in the marketplace. It will give you a little bit more of a psychoactive, you know, component to it. It's a little bit different. It's not THC based. It doesn't classify as a THC product. Yeah. That's relatively uh, intriguing to say the least, uh, but expanding a little bit farther here, you guys do have a portfolio of brands uh, with Apple Rush and Element kind of being the, the premier at the front of the, the, bow, the bow here, but just taking a look, uh, can you kind of break down these other aspects of your business here and just kind of how they fit within this, uh, the branding? Yeah, what we did is we actually originally had, a, had Rowdy Brands on the market and Rowdy Brands was designed in a way that it was supposed to be that head shop kind of look. And that is kind of a unique thing. Obviously, we wanted to cater to the people in that space. With Element Brands, we wanted to cater to the professional, the guy wearing a shirt and tie that doesn't want it to look like it is a, a drug-based product of any sort. They want to be able to go to a meeting, have a beverage 
with them and not have people say, what are you drinking or anything like that? Yeah. Um, so we went that way. Physicians top choice. The reason we chose physicians top choice was we have a couple of products that we made that are very therapeutic. And when we did searching online and looking for different CBD products and things like that, physician was one of the very first things that would pop up in the search term. So we came up with a brand called Physicians Top Choice, which gives us an advantage in the search mechanism. And then uh, finally, Mystique here. Is this uh, what's going on with this? Mystic is a attempt to enter into the sanitizer business in an all natural uh, sanitizer that is not alcohol based. It is a really super cool product. You, you can spray it on your windows and wash your windows. You can use it to wash your clothes. And when you wash your clothes, it'll get rid of any of the funky smell that you had in your towels or anything that happens across time in your laundry. It will take off bugs off your car. It really does some really cool things, but it's non, it's a non alcohol, uh, alcohol based sanitizer. It's got a relatively high pH and uh, having a ha- having a high pH makes it a very, very good cleaner. So on that note, moving forward here into 2022, into the summer, what should investors be the most paying attention to when it comes to Apple Rush? Well, right now we're in the middle of today is 420 and we are launching uh, a few new exciting products. We are going to come to market with a tea line that has CBD in it that tastes terrific. It uh will deliver a a nice dose of CBD with obviously less than 0.3% THC in it. And it's it's really an awesome product. It's a a really, really nice silk tea bag. And the the taste of it is really second to none. We're going to launch that. We're going to do something probably in, this looks like a paint can, you know, something on that order. So it's going to be a little bit higher end. Uh, We're also going to launch a new product since we own a couple hemp farms and whatnot moving forward, we're going to launch a uh, pre-roll that's made from Cordia Palm. And it's really unique. It is uh, going to be out today, actually, at one of our stores here in uh, Orlando. We are going to be giving a bunch of them away and seeing what the customers feel about it. Well, lots to look forward here, Tony. I really appreciate your time today. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. On that note, I want to pass the question off to the viewers here. I'd love to know what you guys think in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as more news comes down the wire, we'll, of course, continue to update you here. But on that, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one. Mm